You know that feeling when you wake up feeling sluggish and you need a cup of coffee to wake you up? Coffee is the drug of choice for most people, so I wanted to design a coffee brand that had a space-themed cafe. Now, this brief was pulled straight from my June brand design challenge. If you do want to win some prizes and participate, then check out next month's challenge on my Instagram. My goal was to create a logo, packaging, and identity that was inspired by space and astrology. The keywords were creative, ethereal, and colorful. I started off with researching the keywords using a thesaurus to gather some ideas. This really helps me get more information about what the word really means. And so I like doing this before jumping into finding some images. Started building a mood board, going online, went on Dribble, Behance, Pinterest to find some cool images. I really was thinking about colorful gradients, you know, space themed icons, you know, planets, you know, rocket ships, things like that. And for the coffee packaging, I searched up some other coffee um, packaging design that was already done. And this really helps me, you know, get some inspiration. When it comes to design, taking ideas from others really helps a lot. I sketched heaps of ideas and I really like this idea of the coffee bean being a planet with Jupiter rings with moons around it for the icon. So that was my key idea for the icon. It really hit the key parts of the brief that said creative and imaginative. And so I really thought that was a good idea. Using my pen tool and the basic shape tools, I started to craft this icon using lots of oval shapes and circle shapes, which was really cool. And the shape builder tool to cut out the moon shape, which is really easy to do. Now just tweaking things to make it look nice, but I eventually landed on a icon that was just different, which was interesting. It wasn't so, you know, um, geometric or um, iconic. It was just really simple and I thought it was just an interesting, and it ended up being like a cup of coffee with the coffee bean planet floating above it, which is kind of cool. I started to create a custom type mark. I was really battling about the font, if I should make it more weird or, or fun. And so I just ended up going for this nice sans serif font and I wanted to customize it. So I really created this arc connecting the A and the R, which I thought was really cool. And it sort of had this oval shape in the shape of like a circle, which can represent a planet. So I thought that was neat. I then started adding some other information like coffee, bar and bay in 2022, because they were launching this calf. But in the brief, it wasn't specific on the date. So I just interpreted it like that. And I just feel like adding these elements makes a nicer lockup with the logo and creates a cohesive design system. Now, I did start to combine the icon and the type together to see how it fit together. It fits nicely in sort of like a, a square box. Then I started playing around with this cool icon of the eye and putting a moon inside of it and then adding some like of these lashes. So it feels like it's like a sun ray, you know, shooting out of the, the moon and the eye. And, you know, so it's connecting with those space themes and astrology themes, which I thought was really cool. And I used this as a key part of the design. I created this abstract eye mark to hit the astrology ID, but I didn't want it to dive too deep down that path. So I just used it as a cool pattern for the packaging and for some promotional materials. And that's the thing I love creating about patterns and icons and stuff. It's like, you just have fun with it. Like be playful, be creative, create something that's simple, but can work in different situations. I then started to develop some other logo lockups that I thought was really cool. And I had this window ID, this window shape, and maybe created like these moon crescents with the monogram of the LC um, from the like lunar coffee or lunar calf. I thought that was a cool idea. So I just, it's good to add variation that I love adding some creative stuff in there. Um, but then we eventually jumped onto the color. I basically took some colors from an image I, I found in my mood board. And that was super cool because it just felt like the contrast between like, it was like a purpley blue with the orange worked really, really well. Had that sort of space vibe, creative flow, it was very colorful as well, which is what I wanted. And then I played around and made a cool gradient for some um, cool design stuff. I started to play around with some gradients and added some color to the core cool elements of the logo. And I really liked how it was turning out. I created some nice little poster designs or some like promotional materials that could be useful. Then I played around with the packaging and here is how the final design turned out. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you do want to see another brand identity video just like this, click the video on the screen to watch some more. Thanks so much for watching. I'll chat to you next time.